Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, how you doing? I know y'all sitting there like, oh my God, he did it. I was curious about these subwoofers. They look exactly alike. Kind of, sort of. Did they come out the same build house? For sure, definitely. For definitely. I'm gonna point out the similarities, but I'm also gonna point out why they actually sound a little bit different from each other. Okay. This one's rated 800 watts. This one's rated 1,000. But as you can see, man, what's the difference? Why are, I mean, they look identical, except one has spacers and a bump back plate and the other doesn't. And that is the primary reason why this one can handle 1,000 watts conservative and this can handle 800. This is more like a 1,000 watt subwoofer in truth. And this is more like a 200 watt subwoofer in truth for maybe six to eight minutes times. But the differences is this what I want to point out to you, that sometimes there are small minute differences in performance that much you might be looking for. They're both going to give you the SPL, the, SQ, the SQL, uh, and the capability for SPL, if that's what you want, because they have the <coughs> basket design and the similar, and exactly, no, 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 they're not, they're not even, they, they're not even the same there. There's a different, there's a difference there. Same design, but different, different style. What, no, what differences do you notice, Val? Okay, so I notice right off the top. This is wider, this is thinner. Exactly. Tall, narrow, SPL surround. This, this is geared for what SPL purposes, and they, 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 they tell you that. But in actuality, this big fat roll surround is not going to be as punchy, as impactful as this tall, narrow. But there's a difference there as well. Even though they're both SPL gear subs with their two and a half inch voice coils, the accurateness of the bass will be more, this will actually be a cleaner SPL sound than this tall, narrow surround. This tall, narrow is gonna give you more impact. So I will wager all of the factors being equal, this sub has the capability, not just because of its power handling capability over the, over the, the CT Sounds Mezio, but also because of the shape of the, of the, of the design of the surround, it's gonna generate more pressure here even if they had both the same motor structure. Okay, okay now what's your other, what, what else do you notice is different? Um, okay, I noticed these are different. What's that? This. Basket, no, the basket is exactly the same basket. Mm -mm. Exact, exactly, exactly. This is, uh, this is narrow and this is not. Whoa, 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 let me see. Boom. That's narrow, that's not. Not ha ha ha! My wife, you have pointed out something that, that you are absolutely correct. This looks like the same basket, same design geometry, but actually not the exact same basket. The six spokes on the spokes on the, on the Brazilian sounds are thicker than the spokes on the CT sounds Mezio. So sometimes what was there look similarly are actually different altogether. What else do you notice, baby? I did, I miss I missed the basket difference. That is a thicker basket. Okay, so how this sits flat and this sits up. Right. And that's all because, and this is how he's able to increase the power handling capability. This one has a pole piece. This one as well has a pole piece. They look similar. Maybe this one might be maybe an eighth of an inch bigger. But this one has a bump back plate, which allows even greater excursion capability over this one here. So this one will probably reach its X mechanical a lot faster, a, a faster than, maybe not a lot, but faster than the Brazilian sounds, particularly just because of this bump back plate. All right, what else you see, what else you got? Mm. This is interesting, I like doing this. This is eating. Ah, exactly. Yeah. One key point that you need to pay attention to, the thickness to the top plate. The thickness to the top plate. 
the thickness of the top plate is significantly bigger on the Brazilian sound in comparison to the, Miz the Mezio. So what does that mean? What is the top plate used for? The top plate is used for focusing the energy of the motor. Focusing the energy of the motor toward the gap in the middle where that voice coil is, where the windings are. Mm -hmm. And on the inside, they look to have similar windings, but the windings on the Brazilian sounds are even higher mm -hmm. than the windings on the uh, Mezio. They're further out the gap. So this one has more X Max than this one. This is going to have, it, 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 being in all things being equal, this is going to be more linear and not as punchier because of the surround. And also, this one has greater X Max than this one. This one, I believe, is 17. I don't know. I can't remember if I'm at, but this is going to have greater X Max. We'll go ahead. This is my question from what I understand. Mm -hmm. Which uses less power to get power. it out. Okay, now, in that aspect, they're both the same. Both of them have low, I think, 81, 80. They're the same. Depends on what voice for regret. These are inefficient drivers. Mm. It's going to take a lot of power, 800 watts, to okay. get this to a certain loudness. Mm -hmm. A thousand. Okay. They basically, efficiency-wise, they're roughly the same. Mm. They're not like so the kicker or the B2 or the Cosmo. They're inefficient drivers, mm -hmm. meaning that you're going to have to give them power to get a certain level. It doesn't make them bad. It's just understanding what you get. You can pay for a fixture set with and may pay more mm -hmm. for it, mm -hmm. and you get to a given loudness a lot quicker because mm -hmm. it efficiently uses the electrical signal. Whereas you can pay for an inefficient set mm -hmm. with and just go by the master that people use. Their power is cheap and get a certain loudness. But not clean. Yeah, power, yeah, power is cheap, but clean power is. <laughs> there you go. So that's just the differences between the two. Uh, the Brazilian Sound Gold 8 and the Mezio 8. Now, I've heard the Mezios before. I'm going to put this in a, let y'all see them free air. Uh, but I think this may give you more, a little bit more energy focus here uh, than over the old design. But in truth, I'm more curious about running two of these so i'm probably gonna buy another one of these and put them because getting my hands on and actually seeing the differences that are significant between the two uh makes me believe this one here even though they're geared the same they are going to sound sonically different even whatever they did with since out the soft parts but this one's going to give me more of that boop, pop sound particularly now that i'm going toward uh, running both my fall gates inside my truck and having the capability to get 3,000 watts uh, and power any 8 inch with or any sub well they're going to be 8 inches in my application with 1,000 watts or more because I have two I have two 1500 BDCP so I'm going to get toward buying another one of these just to see what it does musically is that going to need more essays? And this, these playing big boxes. Yeah, these right here, they, they tell you, put it in one cube, 1.25. <laughs> we'll put it in something massive. <laughs> this is saying small. He said, put this, is, this is going to mimic something that's a little bit, a little bit bigger. So I'm more interested. Plus, I like this, the geometry of this sound. This is the sound, this SPL distortion. Because that's exactly what it is. This is what I like. Boom! This is this is clean loud. Mm -hmm. This is just brute force. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna overtake you. <laughs> <laughs> like the kicker do with the big cone. This is just I'm finna overtake you. I don't care. <laughs> you sound good, but yeah, I'm just raw gorilla. I'm in the building. I'm in the building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the building with this. So I'm more I'm more amped to see what another one of these things will do. Alright, Pete, you like that video for me, baby?